How's it going, Crimson City? My name's Crimson Seabed, and uh, this is just gonna be, I don't know how lengthy of a video this is gonna be. Um, I never, I never script these videos, and there we go, now the webcam focus. I never script these, you guys know that, and I just kinda, I have like a brief outline and then I ramble, so if you guys wanna tab out, just listen to me talk. Um, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, uh, we're gonna be talking about a few things. First off, I'm gonna talk about 3,000 subscribers, what I wanna do for that. I'm gonna be talking about uh, 2015 as like a recap. Everybody else did a 2015 recap and I'll explain why I didn't do mine right away. And then also I want to talk about uh, 2016, what you guys can expect for 2016. Um, and then I'm gonna also uh, interact with you guys and see uh, what you guys wanna see in 2016. So like I said, first off, um, 3,000 subscribers. Um, that's, that's a tremendous, a tremendous milestone. And I started off 2015 with a laptop and a, uh, I think it was it. I think I bought, oh, and I needed this keyboard and mouse because my keyboard and mouse on my laptop were broken. So I had this exact key, uh, I can't lift it up. The cable management is not my strong suit. Um, but I have, I've got a Razer, uh, Death Adder and a Razer Death Stalker. Um, and I started both those off on the laptop in 2015 and I thought to my, and I said to myself, I want to start a channel and I want it to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm going to upload as much as I can, as frequently as I can. And I want to get to a thousand subscribers. And we're here at the beginning of 2016. Uh, we hit it, I believe the day before, I believe we hit it December 30th. We hit 3000 subscribers here on the channel. And that, that blows my mind. That humbles me. Um, I'm not going to say it was just my hard work that did it. I'm not, I know I'm associated with a bunch of people that do have larger channels than me and they do help out. And I'm forever grateful for those people because I would not have, um, I wouldn't have met those people. 2015, I met a lot of people too. Um, so 2015 we hit, uh, we're, we'll go into 2015 minute, but 3000 subscribers. I've always done, um, a few things here and there for, um, subscriber for subscriber, uh, milestones and uh i always you know typically do live streams i talk about you know i always i always ask what you guys want to see so uh let me know down below what you guys want to see if it's just like a twitch live stream if it is a um if you guys want to see something along the lines of reflecting on old videos oh my gosh like if i were to reflect on my old videos i'd probably cringe but we could do like a reflect on last year's videos um, we could do a QA. and I've, I've tried doing that twice and it hasn't panned out well. So, but if there's a, if there's a large enough request for it, we can do a and a So let me know what you guys want to see for 3K down below. I got to stop clapping my hands together. Um, let me know what you guys want to see for 3K down below in the comment section. Um, so that's it for 3K. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Um, I do want to hit, uh, I do believe and I will aim and try my hardest as a content creator and a person <laughs> to uh, hit 10,000 subscribers this year. That's my goal for 2016 is to uh, uh, more than triple my current channel size. And I think it's plausible given the growth that we had in year one. I think year two we can hit 10,000 subscribers. I'm going for it. I hope you guys are excited for it. I've got a lot of stuff coming to the channel. Um, 2015, 2015 was, 2015 was a great year for me. 2015, I uh, essentially started my YouTube channel. I started recording. I started meeting tons of people tons and tons of people and the friends I've made, the connections I've made, the memories I have with these people are unforgettable. And it's it's a very surreal feeling to go from watching people to being friends with them, to being able to talk about stuff. I mean, if you see somebody who has a current project going on and you see it happen and you kind of knew about it like months in advance, you're like, huh, yes. Like, it, it, I don't know, it's a weird feeling for me. It's a weird feeling to, uh, to I, I don't know, it's still it's still kind of surreal to me, but it, it's, 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 it's coming down, it's coming down. Um, but I've made, I've made tons of friends, I've had tons of experiences, I'm looking forward to having, uh, meeting many more people, making way more connections, having tons of more experiences this year in 2016. Starting off with PAX East in Boston in April. I also, uh, I would love to go to Pokemon Worlds. I would love to, VGC bed is no longer a thing. I don't have the time to learn VGC anymore. I don't, I wish I did, I don't. Between between work, between personal life, trying to spend time with my girlfriend, between um, recording, attempting to stream, VGC play style is not something that I'm gonna be able to consistently bring to the channel. I apologize if you guys came for VGC. There's only like, I, like five episodes, if that, I think. But 
Um, it's just not going to happen. I don't have the time, so I apologize to you guys. I'm not going to attempt to make the run for Worlds anymore with uh, VGC playstyle. I'll probably fly over with some friends and uh, have a good time there. So that'll be, that'll be more memories to add to the list of 2016. So um, another thing I want to talk about is 2015 what else in 2015 the gba gba is i love these guys um as of right now if you guys do follow the gba content we are 0-6 uh coming off of the christmas break we do play uh, lars aka El Cesar, and the barusha don fan if i said that wrong lars i'm sorry but um barusia don fan there we go um one of the two one of the two and someone will know one of the two um but we are 0-6 going into this week um it's not it, you know, I feel like recently I've played well. There's some things I can't improve on, and obviously I'm not the best battler in this format. And depending on the outcome of this season is going to determine whether or not I will return season six as a coach or if I'm just going to do analyst work. Um, we're going to see how the season plays out. You know, it's it's a, it's one of those things where I, it's a group of people I love to be affiliated with. I love those people. They're some of the, my, the greatest friends I could ever ask for. Um, but my overall performance will dictate whether or not I choose to continue. They're not asking me to remove myself as a coach and become an analyst. It's just my own personal preference of I would much rather take some time off, learn, you know, analyze other play styles, hopefully learn, you know, adjust my own and increase my own and then come back for something like season seven. So um, that'll be that'll be determined down the road, you know, towards the end of the season. I'll, you know, we'll I'll make like an official announcement. Those are just my thoughts on the GBA. Um, my thoughts on other stuff we did in 2015. 2015, I finished my first Nuzlocke. It was the blue randomizer Nuzlocke. The production quality on that is incredibly, incredibly horrendous. So go look it up at your own discretion. Um, I lost my first Nuzlocke, the Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke. I lost uh, to the second gym. I got absolutely destroyed in that Nuzlocke. Um, I've started projects. I've lost interest in projects. I've gone through a ton of stuff that a content creator goes through. And I feel like it was a very fulfilling year. And I'm really excited for 2016. 2016. Let me talk really quickly. So as you guys can see, there's a green screen behind me. If you guys also can't tell, the lighting's probably better. Um, I've got two umbrella lights, and I've got the green screen, obviously. Um, I want to be one of the best content creators, best up-and-coming content creators in 2016. Whether it's in the Pokemon community, whether it's in YouTube in general, whether it's just in gaming. Um... And I'm not saying that there are people who aren't better than me, but when I work on a video, I want it to be the very best it can be. And I want to gradually increase my own quality with each video that I upload this year. And one of the things I want to do is start, obviously, expanding the quality. I also want to expand the, the content itself. Now, what I mean by that is everybody has done their own talk. <clears throat> excuse me. Everybody's done their own talk on Pokemon's stale, Pokemon's boring, Pokemon's this, Pokemon's that. To, to some to some testament, you can only Nuzlocke certain games so many times, you can only have so many Wi-Fi battles, you can do so many stuff. That's why I really enjoy League Format, and that's why I really want to hang around with the GBAs, because it's very, it, it to me it doesn't get old. You're never going to run the same set twice, you're never going to run the same EVs twice, you're never going to do anything like this. So it is, you're never going to do the same thing twice. So it's very, it's very fulfilling to me in that sense. Um, but another thing that I do want to, um, do, is that my desk you guys see in the background? That is my desk. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe? I'm gonna talk about all the production quality and then adjust the light the angle of my webcam mid-video, but that's why I like doing these kinds of things, because it's just me. Um... But as far as Wi-Fi battles go, um, I did, there was a lot of, there's a large turnout for the team builder I did with Steve and Nick, and I do want to keep doing those. I do want to keep doing team builders with people. I'm not going to say every week I'm going to have someone new on a team builder. I might just toss together, <clears throat> excuse me, I might just toss together a team by myself here in my spare time, record it, uh, record a few battles for you guys. If I find somebody who I think you guys will enjoy, if I find a, I've got a water here. Why do I keep clearing my throat? <clears throat> there we go. Mm, me, me, me. Okay. Um, if I find somebody you guys, I think you guys will enjoy, if I find a, uh, a channel who I think deserves some more support and I want to kind of give them some spotlight, um, I am kind of like, I don't want to say I'm in a place to just like shout people out, but I do want to highlight their channel and I do want to praise them for the hard work that they put in as well because that's how, that's where I, that's how I got where I'm at was a lot of people not only recognized the hard work that I was putting in, but also praised it as well. And I want to do the same thing for some other people. So 
Um, I'm not gonna ask for suggestions because like I said, that's gonna be my personal thought. If there's anybody you guys want to see, let me know in the comment section below. I've asked on Twitter before. Um, a lot of responses were people like Steve, Nick, uh, John, A-Drive, um, people like Shady and Pokemon were suggested, but I don't think they're gonna be on my channel ever. Not because I wouldn't work with them, but because you guys understand. I don't, I don't foresee it happening. Um, but like I said, leave suggestions down below. I've already got a list working in my head of people that I do want to bring on there. And then with the Wi-Fi battles, it'll be two to three battles with that team. Um, as far as uh, diversifying the content goes, I don't want to do a team builder in three battles a week. I want to toss up like a team builder and a battle in one week. And then maybe the next week, like do the other two battles and then kind of stagger out um, GBA content, LPs, and then any other thing you guys want to see. Um, huge thing, huge thing, huge thing, huge thing. So the other day, I got my green screen and my lighting, and I went to go stream. And I just wanted to test it out. I just wanted to have some fun with it and see what you guys thought of the content, see what you guys thought of the quality. And a lot of people were liking the lightings. A lot of people were liking the um, green screen. They thought it was fun. Um, the big thing that came out of that stream was, for some reason, um, Crimson City came through. You guys came through. In 45 minutes, uh, we raise enough money for uh, this bad boy right here. This bad boy right here. If you don't know what this is, this is a Wii U. The Wii U. We raised enough money for the Wii U. And then this just came in the mail as well today. The Elgato Game Capture HD60 Pro. I waiting for my webcam to focus on me again. I was completely blown away. The quality is gonna be fantastic with this. So diversifying the content, aside from Pokemon, um, other LPs you guys wanna see. So I wanna thank you guys in the bottom of my fucking heart for that, oh my God, I was blown away. I was blown away because I was just telling my mom how I wanted one and she's just like, well, you've got some stuff you should take care of first because you're an adult. And I love my mother, I love my mother. She always has the best interest for me, but the. The, the impatient, selfish child in me was like, I want a Wii U, I want one. And pff, Jesus, it was, I, I'm absolutely blown away, absolutely blown away, so thank you so much. Um, so diversifying the contents, Pokemon, Uranium's still going on, Uranium might be just a, um, like in between main LPs thing. I'm having fun with it right now, there's a lot of cool Pokemon in there, um, I just gotta find some time to sit down and record it. I apologize for the audio content, audio quality in the last, uh, a few episodes, I bulk recorded those, had no idea my mic was messed up. Shout out to Blue Yeti for that one. Um, but let me know what other Pokemon LPs you guys want to see. I, I, I might put a straw poll in the description, check it out um, if I do, if I don't. Um, oh well, but leave a comment. But I, I'm debating between, like, a Liquid Crystal Nuzlocke, but that thing looks so... Or not liquid crystal, not liquid crystal, uh, crystal Kaizo, crystal Kaizo, crystal Kaizo Nuzlocke, even liquid crystal, I like, I just like Gen 2, I don't know what it is, um, or a lot of people have told me I've never played 5th Gen, um, maybe like a Blaze Black Randomizer, or like a Blaze Black Egglock or something, if you guys want to do an Egglock, that'd be hype, I would, I would take a lot of time and effort to make sure that was put together really well, um, if you guys wanted to see that, so, um, yeah, I'll leave a straw poll, uh, just, I'll pick between, like, a few Pokemon games that I wanted, that I've been wanting to play on the channel, and you guys vote on those, let me know what you want to see, um, it's not gonna be, like, Blaze Black Egglock or Blaze Black Randomizer, it's gonna say, like, you know, which Pokemon LP do you want to see next on the channel, Blaze Black, Liquid Crystal, ETC, 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 um, another thing I'm gonna do is that I want to start LPing other games outside of Pokemon, and I've tried it a few times, the biggest success on the channel so far was actually Outlast. We live streamed Outlast and we uploaded it to the channel and that actually turned out somewhat well. That's something I do want to start bringing back. So another straw poll that will be in the description is going to be a list of my entire freaking Steam library. It's huge, it's long, I've got other games that I've installed on the PC outside of Steam. Um, it's just going to be a huge lengthy list. Vote on whatever you guys would want to see on the channel. Because I want to start expanding outside of there. Using the Wii U, using my Elgato, I want to start expanding out there. Um, I already have Mario Kart 8, I already have Smash 4, um, later today or tomorrow I'm picking up stuff like Mario Maker, Splatoon, let me know, um, what we use stuff you guys want to see in the comment section, let me know what you guys want to see, you know, I'm, I'm all about being ambitious and chasing down this, uh, this whole YouTube 
career this year. And I want to start expanding to more content that you guys want to see. So I'll leave straw polls for Steam. I'll leave straw polls for Pokemon. Um, comment on what you want to see for 3K. Comment on what you want to see for uh, the Wii U. Um, live streaming. Um, I'm starting a new job here in like the next two weeks. Actually, from January the uh, January the 10th through the 17th, I actually have like a mini vacation where I'm going to attempt to stream a lot, and I want to start streaming more regularly now. Now that I have a lot more access, the green screen makes it fun to stream too. Um, so let me know about that as well. Um, links to everything, Twitter, Twitch are going to be in the description as well. Um, so like I said, just quick recap and I'm gonna get out of here. I've wasted enough of your time. I've rambled for 16 minutes. So for 3k, what do you want to see? Um, we can do a shirt. We can do a shirt for 3k. Hell, they, we've only got the Detroit Sewing shirt. We can do a shirt for 3k, but let me know. Um, we can do, uh, like I said, tons of stuff. Um, watching old videos, Q&A, live stream, shirt, something like that. Um, answer the two straw polls in the description. And then comment also on what type of Wii U content you guys want to see. If it's like a Road to, road to Glory, for Glory thing for Smash. I'm horrible at Smash. Mario Kart 8, Mario Maker, I don't know. I love you guys. I'm going to go record some more stuff for you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. All that being said, my name is Crimson Seabed. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.